Here we go. I'm quite looking forward to this one because there's some stacked talent in some of these Netherlands squads. It's can you name for 11 most used players by the Netherlands men's national team from each year. Again, we've got 20 minutes. We've got 253 to get. I've just done the Germany one and I've got 131. So let's aim for 140. I think that's doable with the Netherlands squad. Um, so let's give it a go. So let's start with uh, the Vans. Van Nistelrooy, one of my favourite strikers ever. Uh, Robin Van Persie, another top quality striker. And it's interesting that Van Persie and Van Nistelrooy haven't uh, regularly appeared in the same squad together. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, again of course, only once in 2001. Patrick Clivert, quality striker. He came to Newcastle. Uh, but didn't really live up to um, expectation. Roy Mackay scored a lot of goals for Bayern Munich. Would he appear? Or did he not appear regularly enough? Oh, Roy Mackay. Anyway, let's leave him for the moment. Uh, we're going to have Edwin van der Sar, quite a lot there, and Stecklenberg, Stecklenberg, he's there quite a lot. Uh, who's the guy? He moved to Barcelona as a sub-keeper, he was uh, Ajax's keeper, uh, Sillison or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it anyway. Team Cruel at all? No. Uh, so we had Edgar Davids and Clarence Seydorf. Uh, fantastic midfielders there. And in the mid 2000s, they had some brilliant players. Wesley Snyder. You see it appearing a few times there. Zenden. Zenden's there quite a bit. Um, Holland, Dirk Kout, quite a few times there. Ryan Babel. Babel and uh, Van Nistelrooy there. Mark Overmars. Quality winger. Dennis Burkamp. Quality striker. Uh, Virgil van Dijk, I think he's Dutch, yeah. And more recently, 2014 World Cup, I remember, uh, yeah, they had Ron Vla there. And, oh, they had some players, didn't they have Southampton defend? Not Jose Font, no, he wasn't, or Yoshida, I think he's Japan or somewhere like that. Uh, let's try with um, Everton signing. Oh, how do you pronounce this? There we go, Davy Clarson. We got there in the end. Johnny Heitinger. Uh, appears quite a lot there. Yap Stam is going to appear quite a few times up until 2004 from the year 2000 and in 97 and 98 there. So we've got 16 minutes left, we've got 99. We're on track to meeting our target. Trying to think, um, didn't they lose in the semi finals to France at Euro 2000? I mean, look at that Clivert, Burkham, Davids, Zenden, Overmars, Stan van der Sar. Uh, pretty mind boggling for talents that they had there. Uh, Michael Reisiger, who later went to 
Middlesbrough. Look how many times he's appeared there. And should be getting some more of these Dutch centre backs. I think there's another one who's played for Celtic. Um, Ah, oh, what's his name? I can't think. Anyway. Probably know who I mean. Or maybe not. So. Uh, Jordi Cruyff, would he? Yeah, he's there. So even back in 2005, they had Seydorf over Mars and Burkamp. Uh, pretty remarkable. So anyone in that Ajax Champions League winning team? Anyone who went on to play for Real Madrid, Barcelona, obviously. Um, for Real Madrid, for likes of um, Seydorf. Went on. I've just thought of someone else. Arjen Robben. Uh, one of my favourite players. A brilliant, brilliant player. He was. Uh, in the last few years, they've had a bit of an overhaul, haven't they? So there's going to be quite a few new names here. And there's quite a few. Daily Blint is going to be there. going to be quite a, a few of them playing in for Premier League. So, uh, would Butner, was he? No, I don't think he was Dutch. Any left backs, right backs? Schneidel and Wanyama, no, they're, they're not Dutch at all. Victor Wanyama. Others for Southampton. Adam Lallana, obviously, he's not uh, not Dutch either. Hmm. I always remember in 2014, one of my favourite matches is when Spain beats the Netherlands, sorry, Netherlands beat Spain 5-1 and Van Persie scored that brilliant header. I think it was Daily Blint that provided the cross there as well. And Vlaar was a bit of a beast, wasn't he, in that tournament. Ah, the Chelsea, uh, the Celtic guy, is it De Vries or something like that? No. Chelsea, Ed De Hoy, was he ever Netherlands goalkeeper? Mind you, Van der Sar's all the way down here. There's no point in trying him. I'm sure there's more uh, Dutch players who have played for Chelsea. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Hasselbank and Clivert. Uh, quality striker, Hasselbank. Yeah. So I and Robin did I end his zoo? Oh no, but Demi de zoo. I don't even know who that is. Um Van der Meide. No, maybe he didn't. Didn't play there. Van der Meide. Uh, there's got to be some more Vans. Van Percy. Van. Oh, there's a guy called Van Vonderen. Hmm. 
No. The van. There's got to be some more vans in here. Van der Sar, Van Nistelrooy, Van Percy. Uh, van der Meda, who's, who's not appeared. I think he played for Everton for a short while as well. So we've got 10 minutes left. We've got 125. See if we can get any more. Aston Villa, did they have any Dutch players? Wilfred Balmer. Was Lawson? I don't think he was, but let's try him. And Melberg, no, he wasn't. He was I think he was Swedish. So we've got Balmer there. Now who else did they have? Reisiger. Middlesbrough had Reisiger. Did Leeds have any Dutch players? Like some Newcastle, I'm sure they've had some Dutch players. West Ham even. West Brom. Van Huijong. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, how you spell it. Maybe he was never a regular striker because even in '98 he was playing for Nottingham Forest. He wouldn't have got in over Patrick Clivert, of course. Uh, Van Bommel. A few times here. Let's just try and think to PSV and uh, the PSV team of the mid 2000s because. We got to the Champions League semi-finals at least once. I think they had Van Bommel in the team. So we've already beaten the German score, 134. I think we aimed for 140, didn't we? We are only six off. A few more midfielders here. Wesley Snyder. Edgar Davids there and two, yeah. Euro 2004, Netherlands. I think it was Euro 2008. They were one of my favourites, uh, possibly the favourites of mine to win the torn uh, the Euros, Netherlands. And they were knocked out by Russia, I think it was, Andre Arshavin in extra time. Who did Reisiger play for? I think he played for Barcelona. Olsen, is he Dutch? Martin Olsen. No. Pedder. No, Pedder. Emerton. Brett Emerton. For Blackburn. No. I think he's Dutch. Maybe he just didn't make it into the Dutch team. Yeah. Is there any Dutch players playing now for the likes of um, Liverpool, so we've got Coutinho's just left, Salah, Mane, um, Firmino, neither of them are Dutch, Wijnaldum I think, yes he's gone in there, so we've got up to 138, Huntelaar, He has appeared a few times. Played for Real Madrid for a short while, then moved on to AC Milan. I think Van Bommel went to AC Milan as well.
Yeah. I can think of Dutch strikers in the Premier League now. Likes of Arsenal. They've got Giroud, who's French. They've gone through Liverpool, Wijnaldum, uh, Chan, Van Dijk's Dutch, and Mignolet's Belgian. Got to try and get this goalkeeper Jasper Sillison. Ah, we got him. There we go. Um, 2014 World Cup. He was substituted for Tim Krull for the penalty shootout against Costa Rica, which they won. They were knocked out in the semi-finals to Argentina. And I remember Van Hal was manager just before he moved to Manchester United, and he played a three-five-two formation. So they had three centre backs. Two wing backs and um, yeah, one striker Van Persie and four midfielders. You had Robin uh, running up top, you had Ron Vlaar in the middle, Daly Blint. I think he was left wing back and right wing back. I think it was Dirk Kout mm -hmm. from memory, but it was in the centre with Ron Vlaar. about Tottenham Alderweireld he's not Dutch he's Belgian so is Vertonghen Sanchez hmm this is difficult now Virgil van Dijk, 2016. I'm sure Southampton had more. Um, I'm sure they had more players from the Netherlands. Although I might be wrong. Snydlin's definitely French. Arthur Boruch, she was Polish. Ah, Afalai. Maybe he's not, not here. Um, Bojan Kirkic. I think he might be Spanish anyway. So yeah, Afalai came through at Barcelona. Two thousand and six World Cup. They beat Brazil in the quarter finals. No, I think that um they beat Brazil in the second round, didn't they? Uh, round of sixteen and then got knocked out themselves in the quarters. Can't remember who two. Might have been to Portugal actually when there was a record number amount of yellow and red cards in a World Cup match. Yeah, certainly a few defenders I need to have uh, uh, looked over here. Yeah, we've got a few going here. Just 30 seconds left. We've reached for target. Would have liked to have got a few more like always, but done pretty well. Under the circumstances, I think. Hmm. 
Yeah, no names are coming to me. Go on. Nathan Ake. Um, ah, Memphis Depay. Kevin Strootman, I remember that name. Um, probably wouldn't have got it, though. Depay, maybe I should have got. Wouldn't have got the others. Martin's Indy, I wasn't, didn't even know he was Dutch. De Vries, that's who I was um, trying to think of before for Celtic. Should have got Nigel De Jong, that uh, big kick on um, in Xabi Alonso's chest in the 2010 World Cup. Michelle Vaughan. Lens. Is that for Lens who played for Sunderland? Van der Vaart should have got him. Eric Peters, wasn't sure he was Dutch. And Broncos, yeah. Mario Melchiot. Let's go up. Ah, should have got for De Boers. Should have got them. Bogard. Viewed as a bit of a joke now. Koku, yeah. Boswell played for Manchester City, didn't he? Uh, at one point, around 2003, when they were promoted back into the Premier League. That's it. I was trying to get him. Roy Mackay. He's only there once, anyway, in 2002. So, anyway, yeah, any... Surprises there for you? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you again soon.